Let me read you something from the Bible. It's in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14. It says this, For the love of Christ controls us. Having concluded this, that one died for all, therefore all died. And he died for all, so that they who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and rose again on their behalf. Therefore, from now on, we recognize no one according to the flesh. The Greek word there for no one means no one. That means Christian and pre-Christian. This is why I, one, another reason why I don't believe in judgment on mankind in this life. I believe we're here to judge the demonic. We don't recognize anybody according to the flesh. No one means no one. No distinctions there between saved and unsaved. No distinctions whatsoever. No one means no one. Therefore, from now on, we recognize no one according to the flesh. Even though we've known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him in this way no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. Now, all these things are from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, that God was in Christ reconciling the world everyone say world not church reconciling the world to himself listen now not counting their trespasses against them and he has committed to us that same word of reconciliation what does that mean? Reconciliation. It means that God, through Christ, has opened a way for all mankind to know Him. So, from His perspective, everybody is reconciled in Christ. What that means is, God does not hold anything against anyone. They're all reconciled. Does that mean they are redeemed? No. Everyone say, he's not saying that. Our job as ministers of reconciliation is to go into people's lives, no matter who it is, and say, the way is open for you. God is not angry with you. He's not mad at you. He's not going to judge you. God is... I am here as an ambassador of reconciliation to say to you, the way is open for you before God because he demolished every obstacle, every barrier. And while you're making your mind up about that, let's get your body healed, let's get your son off drugs, let's get your daughter into full employment so that you can taste and see that the Lord is good. We are here as ambassadors of heaven in the earth saying this is what heaven looks like. This is what salvation looks like. This is what being with God looks like. This is what it means to be loved by God. This is what the favor of God smells like and tastes like. Have some. We're ambassadors of reconciliation. What if the biggest problem... Let's just pick America. What if the biggest problem in America is not drugs, it's not crime, it's not poverty or low education, it's not terrorism, it's not abortion, it's not the gay community, whatever that means to you. What if the biggest problem in America is simply the lack of goodness? The Bible says we overcome evil with good. So why are we building more prisons? Why are there no-go areas on the streets? Why are 46% of this population struggling to keep a roof over their head? 
And what is it about the church that makes her think it's okay for us to be railing against sin and calling down judgment on people? When the Bible says that it is the goodness and the kindness of God that leads people to repentance. Jesus went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. It is not our job to rail against sin. That's the role of the demonic. It's called an accusing spirit. It is our job to call down the grace of God on our communities. It is our job to be salt and light. It is our job to be ambassadors of reconciliation, saying to people, the way is open for you. Everyone, we are, the church is a redeemed community in a reconciled society. The whole world has been reconciled to God. It doesn't mean they are saved. It means they have a really good chance. It's like when you get a credit card through the mail. All the benefits of that card belong to you. But you can't activate them until you get in touch with the principal. You have to phone and register the card. You have to get in touch with the benefactor behind the card. That's what reconciliation is. We are saying to people, all the benefits of heaven are available to you. And we are here to connect you with the Creator so that you can find Him and discover Him. And as a part of that process of you discovering who He wants to be for you, we're going to do you good. We're going to let you taste and see what God is really, really, really like. That's our role in the earth. So let's read it again, huh? All these things are from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them. And he has committed to us that same word of reconciliation. Therefore, because of that, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were making an appeal through us, we beg you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Open your heart to all the possibilities of God. He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Never underestimate the passion that God has for souls. And to see bodies healed and lives renewed and cities rebuilt and waste places brought back to life. 